Alrighty, so our next stop along the Can Can Road is to um, set up the controllers. So we're going to go into our app folder and then into the controllers. And the first place we want to go, we could go either way. We could go to the articles controller or the comments controller. They both have to be fixed up a little bit, but we're going to go to the comments just because there's a little more work to do in here. Not much, it's not a lot of work, but just a little more than, than the article controller, so I thought we'd take care of this. And, and the first thing we want to take a look at is we want to look at some CanCan -can documentation. And CanCan's really cool with their documentation. They've got all kinds of examples that we can pull from. What we need to do is create this little sanitizer uh, this could be called anything, by the way. We could call this Steve Sanitizer. It's just a, a definition, right? And then this is defined here in your controller, and then up at the top, you put this load and authorize my sanitizer. So we'll go with that. So the first thing we want to copy is this down here. And by the way, the reason for this is because um, Rails has strong parameters now since Rails 4. The stuff won't get through unless we set this. And when I say the stuff, I mean, uh, in this case, they're using an article, but in our case, we're going to be using comment, and then over here, we're going to be using body. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go back to our comments controller, and down at the bottom here, after this end and before this last end, we're going to just go down a few lines and paste that in. And we want to take this end out. Actually, I didn't mean to copy that. But anyway, we have this little definition, right? And the reason that's set to private is simply that we only want to use this in this controller. And that's how Rails goes about that. So right here, we have to change article. And before we change it, I'll just show you here quickly. Up here on the create definition, can see here that the params are the comment and the body so we need to set that down here so in, I'm just highlighting the article there and I'm going to change that to comment and then over here instead of saying name we're going to permit the body and that's what we call that in our database right that's the the body of our comment and then at the top that's been defined now. We're going to go back here to the CanCan -can homepage and grab this line of code here and go back. And then just under our authenticate user, I'm going to paste that in like that. And that is all we really have to do here. So it's not a lot of stuff. I know I said, well, it's the most work, but you'll see in our articles controller, there's not much work at all. We just got to add two small lines of code. So let's open up the articles controller. What we need to fix up here is we got to fix up our update and our destroy. And where we're going to get this code from again is from the CanCan -can site. And so we're going to go into here. And this is all part of the CanCan -can documentation. I just got it up in front of us here. But if you go to their site, you know, then you can click through the, the different links. And there's a lot of information. So there's this authorized resource. And we can just grab this here. And I'll show you how to set this up. And there's some different examples of how this works and how you can set it up. So we're going to go into the update here. Because remember, in our ability.rb file, we've created the create ability, the update ability, and the destroy ability. And the update and the destroy have to be the current user. So we want to make sure that they get authorized on the controller level. And coming up in the next video, I'll show you why that's so important. So I'm going to paste in that authorize. And then here we, we just got to tell it what we want to authorize. And then after this, we just want to say colon update, comma, and then we want to put article. But we want to put the variable, so we want to grab this right here. This is the 
local variable for that. Paste that in. And then down here, I'm just going to copy this. And in the destroy, we want to say here, we just want to say destroy. So it's pretty straight ahead. And that's really that. Our next video will take care of our views, and that's going to be fairly quick. And then, I know I said in the next video I'll show you, but then I'll actually show you, we'll break all this down and kind of, you know, we'll comment some of this out. Uh, where are we here? We'll comment these lines out, and I'll show you what happens if this is not set up properly. And you'll get to see how this all fits together. All right, we'll be right back. Thanks.